When two devices communicate, they exchange data in small chunks called frames. Frames can be exchanged over an Ethernet cable, Wi-Fi, or cellular. Let's take a closer look at what happens when a device receives a frame. A frame is handled by the layers of software that runs on a device. First, a frame arrives at the network hardware, like Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or cellular, and then gets read from the hardware by the network driver layer, which is at the bottom of the software stack. Network driver receives frames from the hardware and passes received frames to the upper layer. Data gets passed between layers by means of function calls, which form an API of that layer. The next upper layer is called a network stack. It receives frames from the network driver and analyzes them. Each frame is a sequence of protocol headers, optionally followed by user data. The first header is called a MAC header, with source and destination hardware addresses. The next header is an IP header, which has source and destination IP addresses. Next goes UDP or TCP header, with source and destination port numbers. The network stack layer strips headers from a frame and passes user data to the upper layer, a network library layer. The most common API between those layers is so-called BSD socket API, and the function that reads user data is called res. Let's assume that user data contains an HTTP request. The network library reads that request, parses it, and sends over to the application layer. An application logic decides what to respond. For example, it responds with a simple hello message. The hello response is passed down via a network library API function. The network library takes the response, formats it according to the HTTP protocol, and passes down using network stack API function send. A network stack adds all necessary protocol headers, preparing the frame to be transmitted by the network driver. And finally, a network stack tells a network driver to get the frame and transmit it. Thanks for watching.